In a previous video, I assembly programmed LCD interface with Arduino to display analog to digital 8-bit value in hexadecimal. In this video, the assembly program is modified to display the analog to digital value in decimal. The 10-bit digitized value output from the analog to digital converter is copied onto register pair ADCL and ADCH. The value in the ADCL is discarded while the 8-bit value in ADCH is retained. Next, the 8-bit binary value is converted to a 3-digit ASCII decimal value and then displayed on the LCD screen. In a future video, the whole 10-bit digitized value will be converted into a 4-digit ASCII decimal value and to achieve this we need to perform 16-bit operations. The algorithm used to convert from binary to ASCII decimal is shown here. We start by copying the 8-bit digitized value into register R16. Then we assign two counters with initial value of 0. Then we check is R16 less than 100. If not, then we increment the first counter and then we subtract 100 from R16 and then we continue with this loop until R16 is less than 100, which means that C1 now represents the most significant digit of the digitized value. Then we check is R16 less than 10. If not, then we increment the second counter and then we subtract R10 from R16. We continue with the loop until this condition is satisfied which means that now C2 represents the uh, mid-digit of the digitized value. And R16 would represent the uh, least significant digit of the digitized value. The next and the final step would be to add 48 to each digit to get the ASCII uh, representation of the digit. And then we display on the LCD monitor the uh, ASCII value for the most significant digit and then the mid digit and then the least significant digit. And now for a quick demonstration we increase and decrease the digitized value using a 10k pot and the digitized value is between 0 and 255. A quick look at the modified uh, assembly code Within the subroutine read ADC, we get the low byte from ADCL and copy it into register R16. And then we get the high byte from ADCH and copy it into register R16, thus ignoring uh, the low byte and keeping the 8-bit high byte. And then we are assigning uh, the two counters. R25 will represent uh, counter 1 and R23 will represent uh, counter 2 with initial value of 0. Next we check the the value of R16 is this, is it less than 100 if not this instruction the branch instruction on minus will be ignored and we come to this instruction which increments counter 1 by 1 and then we subtract 100 from R16 and then we loop back and the process is repeated until the value of R16 is less than 100, then the branch instruction will be executed and the program will jump to label L8. And here we are comparing the value of R16 with 10. Is it less than 10? If not, then the increment of counter 2 occurs. And then we subtract 10 from R16 and then we loop back. The process continues until R16 is less than 10 then the branch on minus will be executed where we jump to label display. Next we add 48 to counter 1 to get the ASCII value of the most significant digit and then display it on the LCD. Then add 48 to counter 2 to get the ASCII value of the mid digit and then display it on the LCD. And then add 48 to register R16 to get the ASCII value of the least significant digit and then display it on the LCD screen and then apply a delay of 0.5 second and then jump back and get another analog to digital reading. One thing I noticed is that when the digitized value exceeded 227 
the displayed value on the LCD was zero. This implies a runtime error, which may be due to some logical error in the assembly code. To understand why this logical error was occurring in the code, I noted that in this instruction, compare immediate, where the 8-bit digitized value in R16 is compared with 100, that when the value of R16 is 228 and above, we get this error. To solve this issue, I noted that for R16 values of 228 and above, if we compare with 128 instead of 100, the issue is resolved. So now in this modified assembly code, we check the value of R16, whether it is greater than or equal to 228. If so, then we jump to this subroutine adjust, where we compare the value of R16 with 128 instead of 100. On the other hand, if the value of R16 is less than 228, then we compare with 100. In a future video, I will modify the assembly code to display the 10-bit digitized value on the LCD screen. Thank you for watching.